Hi everyone, welcome into today's episode of The Weekly Toast. This is the Monday morning breakfast show where I share my thoughts about the recent gaming titles that I've played and I take a look at some of the latest upcoming games that spark my interest. In today's episode, are you a fan of indie roguelike mega build games? Well, this week I'll be checking out Dwarven Realms. Fans of the Kingdom Two Crown series can get their hands on the all-new Call of Olympus DLC this week. And lastly, fantasy fun co-op roguelike Wizard of Legend 2 has been released into early access. Face massive hordes of mobs and unleash chaotic abilities that paint the screen with mayhem. Dwarven Realms allows players to dive into the largest mob density of any 3D ARPG and slay absolutely everything, if their build allows it. Wield epic powers, create your own builds, and shape a world of endless possibilities as you hack and slash your way through as many encounters as your build allows you to. I've been invited by Creator Studios to test my metal and push a build to its very limits. However, I'm torn as to how I wish to begin my time with this game. Do I go down the route of fast attack speed, crit, and lifesteal, a build that I'm very well known for when approaching roguelikes of this nature? Or do I follow the path of the mage and try my hand at mana usage combined with big AoE spells? That's if the game even has that. Whichever route I do decide to take on the day, I know that as soon as I load the game and jump into the action, I will be presented with a whole new world of items, buffs, stat crunching, and refining my own playstyle. This is the type of game that I adore to play. It's simple, but it also has deep statistical potential. I can pick up the game and play whenever I wish. Do a run or two and time will fly by, and I'll be learning all new things as I explore what the game has to offer. Additionally, I've recently fallen in love with the idea of chasing achievements, thanks to my Core Keeper playthrough, so I'm curious to see what achievements I could aim to unlock whilst I'm streaming this game. I'll be checking out Dwarven Realms this upcoming Wednesday afternoon over on my Twitch channel, so why not drop into chat, come say hi, and hang out as we theorycraft a build together. Just over a year ago, I was first introduced to the Kingdom series. For those that aren't familiar with this type of game, Kingdom games fall into the side-scrolling tower defense genre blended with casual city building and resource management. The concept of the game is simple. Explore a horizontal horizon, gather coins, and find friendly faces to recruit to your cause. And that is building a civilization that will repel the invasion of the horrors and cleanse the world of their presence. Kingdom Two Crowns is releasing a brand new DLC this week, and it's themed around the Olympic gods. No doubt, this will see players encountering the likes of Zeus, Thor, Hades, and even Aphrodite as they quest their way across a handful of newly featured maps. I absolutely love playing Kingdom Two Crowns. The gameplay loop is super straightforward. The planning of which buildings to buy first, coupled with hiring enough villagers to become soldiers, archers, or even farmers to keep your town resources thriving, becomes extremely addictive and fun. The game also has split screen and online co-op, meaning that you can team up with a friend or a loved one to enjoy the story and town building together. For me, this game is an easy recommendation for a cozy night in, and when you repel that massive horde of enemies threatening to wipe out one side of your village by building walls and having towers of archers rain arrows upon the enemy, you can bask in that glory, either alone or with a friend. The feel of this game is absolutely epic. Call of Olympus DLC launches on October 8th. Check out the video description and wishlist it today. Now, Wizard of Legend is a game that I am not personally familiar with, as I've not played the original game, and recently, developers Dead Mage have released the second game in their series. Wizard of Legend 2 is a fast-paced, roguelike follow-up to the acclaimed original game, featuring co-op 
and vibrant new 3D visuals. Players can master all new arcana and elements, experimenting with different spell combinations, all in order to become the next powerful wizard in the land. To say that I'm excited to try out this game is an understatement. I've recently played a lot of top-down isometric perspective games, including Realm of Ink and Hades 2, so to have the chance to play another game in this genre is always a welcome treat. The trailer for this game has me absolutely hooked and I cannot wait to play it. I want to say a big thank you to Dead Mage and Daredrop for hooking me up with a copy of Wizard of Legend 2 to play. I'll be checking out the game on Thursday afternoon live on Twitch. Ladies and gents, it's that time of the week where I remind you that this week's Epic Games Store freebies are available. And this week, you can go and pick up Bear and breakfast, absolutely free. Check out the link in the video description, click and claim it today. And that's it for this week's episode of the Weekly Toast. It's kind of short this week, but we've got a lot of stream content coming out over on Twitch, so come and hang out this week. If you enjoyed this video, then drop a like, subscribe if you're new here, and tune in next week for another of my gaming news and reviews. Consider supporting my content by picking up a piece of toasty merchandise. The online store has been stocked with brand new merch items. A big thank you to everyone who has bought some merch. I truly appreciate you being a part of my online adventure. Merch and social links are in the video description below. Thank you ever so much for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.